Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. Today I am fixing a particularly pesky problem and that's the need of a negative voltage rail because most things we uh, use have a positive voltage rail but every now and then you'll find something like a memory chip or something that needs a minus 12, minus 5, minus something. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it because I want to build a memory tester and it happens to be that that particular uh, chip uh, memory chip needs a minus 5 volts as well as a standard 5 volts. So this is how I'm going to do it. And I'll just show you my, my thinking. It's going to be part of a bigger circuit that has a standard positive voltage rail, but the principle still applies. And if you use a PC power supply, for example, it has a minus 12, you can use this technique to draw your minus 5. So to do this, I'm going to use one of these, which is an L... 7905, particularly this one, CV. And uh, I'll have to zoom in because my pen is running out. And uh, just to show you the footprint of this, it's a standard package. It looks like any other voltage regulator you have. But rather than being input ground output, it's going to be ground input and output. Look how, look how terribly I've, I've written that. Ground input and output and this is known as a negative voltage regulator so it actually takes a minus say minus 12 and converts it into a minus 5 so in the same way that you use a regulator to go from a plus value to a smaller plus value this takes a large negative value and makes it into a smaller negative value so we're going to demonstrate that with this bit of board i know it's unusual for me to use breadboard but i did have some lying around and I thought, well, let's have a go, because I know a lot of you guys breadboard your projects. Um, rather than just doing a bit of Vera board, I thought I'll just jump to this. Because you can always design your own Vera board, and there's no point copying me in a Vera board design, because it's always free form. So we'll try on this. So first things first, I've got a 9 volt battery. So to do this, you can use um, two batteries or one battery, however you're going to do it. Um, again, let's get rid of this. Let's go, let's go straight to the foul sharpie, shall we, just so you can see that. And the uh, idea is, if you have say two batteries here and I'm going to draw them like this plus negative plus negative and these were nine volts so these are nine volt batteries <clears throat> depending on how you join them if you join them in series so you've got a connection like that there you go and that measured from here to here will give you 18 volts and I think we're all pretty clear on that so the idea is, if you ha want a negative voltage, if you consider this your negative point here, and I'm going to draw a line over here so we can see the measure. The measurement between here and here is 9 volts, yeah? But what's the measurement between here? If we consider this the 0 volts and this wire, and that will come out as minus 9. So that's how we're going to work this. So we're working with this half path of the circuit. So we've got a 9 volt battery here. We're going to pretend we're working with this half of the circuit. So we've already hooked up our 9 volt cell and I'm going to pop open my little box of wires and install some Tupperware earlier. That's going to be me. And then I'm going to pop this regulator in like this. Las dos. Cause I'm trying to remember how these are wired. If I recall these breadboards, by the way, they're wired horizontally in this direction and vertically in this direction. So you could put like a dip IC in here along the middle. That's what that's for. I'm just going to mount it like this. I'm going to put a bend in it for you so you can see a bit clearer. So remember, we have three things. We have the input, <laughs> sorry, the ground, the input and the output. So if we look at this, we got to actually hook the ground to the positive. This is the ground, our zero volts. We're going to hook this to the positive side of the battery. And we're going to go use this blue wire. And I'm going to go from the ground like that to the positive rail. Which I'm, I'm hooking it down here, but remember it goes straight through. It's the positive side of the battery. And then we're going to hook the input, which goes from the negative rail to the middle pin like that. And then we have our output pin. So you've got 9 volts coming in. It's being regulated down to minus 5 volts because we've effectively twisted the pins around that you're, you know, you're used to using. Because for, for the input, you're normally used to using a positive, but we're using the negative. So I'm going to hook the multimeter up to the output. And then we're going to uh, measure 
the output to the positive rail and you can see it's running at minus 3 volts. So just to show you where we're measuring that, we're measuring that between, and I'll show you the positive rail, but which is the ground, between ground and here. Let's show you that again. So we're measuring from the output to our ground, which is there, actually directly on the leg, and there's our minus 5.3, so there's a little bit of a 0.3 variation, but it's probably just down to the regulator. And that is how you get your minus 5 volts. Now in circuit, if you're connecting this up, so I'm going to be using this in an Arduino circuit to make my IC tester. So what I'll need to do though is to be very careful because I need to hook this up to the power supply of the USB on the Arduino. Um, I actually, <laughs> he, he says he actually has an Arduino. So we, let's uh, show you how that's going to go down. So if you look at the Arduino here, now I'll zoom in again, don't worry, you'll be able to see nice and clearly. You'll notice you have a 5 volts and a ground here on this side. So you're like, well, how do we put these together? Well, that, it's really easy. Um, I'm going to use this black wire here. We're going to go from our ground pin, which is this pin here, to the ground there. So what that means is the Arduino side is going to be running off the 5 volts from the... PC, which is fine. Our power supply here is floating, so it's not going to interfere. You're not going to get any weird voltages, so you can just run this. So uh, in the circuit I'll have, I'll be putting my dip chip here and I'll be running all these different wires here. And the only difference is the dip is going to take its 5 volts power supply from here and its negative 5 volt power supply from this pin on our regulator. And that should all work as expected. So I hope that's been of some use to you. Please like, share, subscribe and come and chat to me in my Discord channel about this sort of thing. If you've got a better way of doing this, let me know. I would love to know a nice way of building a small PCB that could actually derive the minus uh, 5 volts or maybe even minus 12 volts itself from an input 5 volts. That would be cute, wouldn't it? As ever, thank you for watching.